what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronx from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. I like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfella from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, uh, let's talk about Tyson Fury trying to avoid Dillian White and WBC confirms that Wilder, uh, Fury Wilder three winner must defend against Dillian White, uh, while in Victor. Now, also, he said as well that, um, he said that he's gonna get him 30 days to, uh, to make a fight with, uh, with, um, 30 days to make a fight with, uh, Jesus, what's his name? Uh, Usy. So hold on, let's read it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, thumbs up the video, all that good stuff. So let me zoom, zoom my boozy voice. Boozy man, and I zoom my phone, my He said, he said, WC Board of Governors has reviewed the recent history in the heavyweight division, considering long inactivity in the division due to the pandemic, ongoing legal process, and COVID 19 infections. WC has ruled the heavyweight division against. WBO, IBF, WA champion Usyk in search of an undisputed champion of the division. If no unification bout is secure within the time, the winner of Water, winner of Fury Water Three must fight next against the reigning WC interim champion White. So they are actually giving them thirty days to be exact to fight to make a deal with Usyk, so they don't have to fight the uh, Otto Wileen and Dillian White winner. But we all know that won't happen because AJ is going to take his rematch versus White unless he get injured. I mean, versus Usyk unless he get injured. So uh, unless something happened to AJ, AJ don't want the rematch with Usyk, which I haven't got that vibe from him. Sound like he ready to do it again. We are going to get Wilder Fury and the Dylan White or Uchi Wally. Now, I don't even think – now, Tyson Fury came out today and said he has no interest – and fighting uh Otto Wale. Now hold on, hold on. We got it down. He says, I mean, Dylan White have no interest in fighting Dylan White being his WBC mandatory. Now, Bob Aaron can pay the bag, right? He could pay the bag and have um Dillian White be the uh what you call it? What's the champion? Other champion that Canelo was. What is it called? The uh franchise champion. He can have him be the franchise champion and um but I don't think he won for that. But Uchi Wally, man, I don't think he want to fight Otto Wally again. Otto Wally should have beat him if it wasn't for, you know, the Wilder 3 fight. But Otto Wally should have beat him, bro. Now, I think if you give Otto Wally a second look, I think he might beat him. So he says Tyson won't be committed to fight. Why? He said, is, some, is that something that I've, I've not been told or am even interested in right now? I said Fury about WC making a mandatory challenger. White the mandatory challenger. I've got Deontay Wilder to deal with. Um first and then we'll sit down and make a decision on what's next so it sounds like it sounds like he ain't even trying to fight dillian white and that's he pretty bitch he pretty much been consistent on not wanting to fight dillian white okay that's kind of been um that's kind of been his thing and whatever reason it's been rumors that dillian white it's been rumors that dillian white really uh beat him up in the gym all right it's been that rumor going around that you know and he beat him up. So I mean, I mean Tyson Fury making that seem like it's putting putting validity behind that rumor, bro. He is. He putting he putting validity uh, behind that rumor, man. And um, like I said before, I don't understand why he's he's scared to fight uh this man, bro. He I think he he literally don't want to fight. And then really, I don't think he want to fight Uchi Wally. I don't want again. You know, would you? Shit. Would you? I mean, shit, I, I wouldn't be trying to fight that man. I wouldn't be trying to fight that man, bro. Straight up and down. Man's a, I mean, had his number. Tyson Fury got issues seeing. Remember, he said he had no interest in fighting Usyk neither. So when they asked about Usyk, they said, we just focusing on this fight, him and Bob Brown. I don't think he want to fight Usyk neither, bro. All those small fighters. Them shorter fighters give him problems. He can't see them punches coming, bro. Now, Deontay Waterloo, I think he'll fight Dillian White, bro. Um, I think he'll fight Dillian White. Um, so he said, staying off, he said, 
I'm the lineal WC and Ring Magazine Heavyweight Champion of the World, and I respect the hell out of that. Seth Fury, when asked about the flashy clothes he's wearing during the press conference, I've got the ring. Excuse me, I got the ring and WC Bell's Fury shoes. And the same as the suit I'm representing my organization, I'm doing it proudly because I'm a flagship of the company being the heavyweight champion of the world. So I must conduct it like a heavyweight champion of the world. I just I just said I trained him and that if he wants to win his next fight, then he should let me train him before, uh, for the fight. For example, when asked about former uh, IBF, WBC, WBO champion, and Joshua just lost to Usyk. He said, well, I got Deontay Wilder deal where I don't want to talk about any other opponent. But just for the record, I could beat them all. Fury said, ask, how'd he do against newly crowned IBF, WAWO champ, heavyweight champion? And Usyk, every single one of them put together can't beat me. Uh, no one can beat me. I'm not ABC right now, right down to Z. They can't beat me, said Fury. I, I will make him, Joshua, win that fight. It's just something I could tell him. It's something I have to show him. Fury says, I don't care about that shit. So I mean, at the end of the day, he's really going to fight Usyk. Is he going to retire? Like I said before, them shorter fighters get him hella trouble. So obviously, Wilder has some things to say. Man, he said zero. I don't respect him as a man, as a fighter. Fury when asked about whether you know Wilder situation, he said it's a boxing match. Really don't care. So they kind of went back and forth and stuff. But my thing is, uh, my thing is they got the you know, reckoning day, you know, assassination day gonna come October 9th, as long as everybody healthy and stuff of that nature. And like I said, if I'm Deontay Wilder, I'm coming out pressing him. I'm walking right to Deion. I'm walking right to Tyson Fury, right to his kitchen. Boom, rock your dome in my yin yang twin voice. I'm coming, I'm coming to get him. All right. I ain't sitting there trying to box play with him. I'm walk, I'm running right to him and piecing him up. Right what Mike Tyson said. But at the end of the day, Dillian White, all the while lean, Ustic AJ all lean, all loom. Loom is over this fight, man. And you know, if Wilder win, he's gonna have to fight Dillian White. Shelly Fink already said they down to fight Dillian White. Early next year, and that's why Dillian White fighting like three weeks after the, after they fighting. So I mean, at the same time, man, we gotta wait and see exactly um, how this plays out. And but we gonna get some really good fights. You know, Andrew Ruiz could be fighting Ortiz or you know, whoever else he fighting. I mean, I mean, we really probably gonna start to um, to break down this division and condense everything, man. So can't wait till these dudes fight, man. Hey, wait, division. We didn't. We waited a long time for it being boring ever since the Klitschko took the the wheel. And drove the boat, and we waited. And they should be fighting each other. And all this politics and shit, man. We should have got Fury, AJ, AJ, Fury, Fury. I mean, Fury. I mean, Wilder, AJ, and all this shit, man. And you know, ultimately, you know, Tyson Fury has decommitted to fighting uh, Dillian White in the past, and obviously in the present, he has decommitted to fighting Alexander Usyk in the past as well, too. So, I mean, I think Fury might have one of his episodes after he finally does defend his title. And Tyson Deontay Water brought it up that you never defended the title, and that's true. You know, you know, I don't you know. Let's say if you you ain't a true champion unless you defend the title. You know, that, that is the old saying, man. But um obviously, man, um obviously, man, I, I just want to see them all. You know, if I said, you know, if Wilder lose and he should retire, I, I'll get to that probably tomorrow or another day if I or after the fight, or you know, Fury lose, should he retire? That's a question too. Like, he still got the biggest, you know, heavy British heavyweight fight out there between him and Anthony Joshua. Um, but should he retire? All right, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a true, that's a real thing, man. So, I mean, at the end of the day, man, it's interesting. I, you know, obviously, my fandom is with. Deontay Wilder, I'm picking Tyson Fury. I should be able to get to. Um, I should really be able to get to today. I should be able to get to the the um, the live breakdown. I do it on Instagram, and eventually I'm gonna try to carry everything over to the Patreon for like a dollar, so y'all can see the live footage or two dollars, something like that nature. But um, like I said before, I can't wait for the fight. I mean, can't wait for this to be over with. But excitement for the fight. I think Deontay. A lot of people starting to kind of. You know, Teddy Alice picked Deontay. I think people starting to pick Deontay and believe Deontay and believe Deontay could do this. So, you know, and Malik Scott too. Malik Scott seemed to have a lot of confidence and seemed not to be too emotional, emotionally driven either. So, you gotta wait to see for the fight. And I seen the second fight yesterday on ESPN. I think that was the first time I rewatched we watched the fight in, uh, almost in its entirety. And it is what it is, man. So, I mean, you know, you know, the most interesting fight out of AJ Wilder, Fury, Waleen, White. I think I think the most interesting fight is this one right here, you know. 
um from a from from a uh, anticipation standpoint um from a schematic standpoint um the most interesting one it, it might be Usyk and while in Wileen verse 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 Tyson Fury man you know Usyk you know Usyk I, I know what he's gonna do to Usyk he's gonna lay his weight on Usyk he's not gonna sit there and box with Usyk but out of Wileen those those are interesting even Dillian White all of them are interesting fights man and uh if I had to rank them it would just without belts and with the fighters I would probably say um on an international scale Wilder Fury is number one then you look at Deontay Wilder and AJ number two. You got AJ and Fury because it's that's domestic over there in the UK. And then you're talking about it. Then you're probably going to the rest of them, Dylan White versus Wilder, Fury, and whatever it may be. But like I said, it's going to be tough tomorrow, um, tough Saturday. And also, we got the way in and they're not allowing them to do face off. And then you could blame Canelo, Kayla Plant for blaming them for not doing face offs and stuff of that nature. So, I mean, we're going to have to wait and see. And, um, We have to wait and see, man. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Check the heavyweight boxing playlist, boxing news playlist. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. All my social media links in the description. Um, anytime you want to reach out, we're going through some video requests, chop it up. When advertising the channel, whatever it may be, hit me up. Twitter's the fastest way, Facebook and Instagram, the Facebook group. Want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Appreciate those donations, man. Best way to donate, thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section. One time for the one time, Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check my other channel out, Mother She Sports Talk. And also check out the backup channel, Goodfellas Sports TV uh, 2.0. Peace.